like on like the last day they decided to team. And they actually did fairly well. They thought they were supposed to play Flip and Kais, but it was a mistake. But they didn't find out until after they won the first game. So not having actually teamed is just kind of a testament to Reslift actually being a fairly strong doubles player. And then you got Red Ranger and Jose V, heavy hitters from SoCal. Red Ranger actually from this area, from is Queens. He? Really? So he's from New York, New Jersey. Uh, but he moved out to SoCal. He actually never played uh, Smash until he moved out to SoCal. Interesting. Uh, I know this because I played PUBG with him, and we, we, we discussed life and other things. Gotcha. So, you know, uh, it'll be interesting to see, because the favorite would have to be Jose V and Red, and Red Ranger. Absolutely. That just goes without saying. Uh, Jose V, extremely talented nest from the West Coast, SoCal. Mm -hmm. And Red Ranger is, I mean, when you think about it, uh, there's really the no argument Ganondorf. anymore. He's the best yeah. Ganondorf, yeah. You know, Junebug's out of the game now, and... When they played, it was a hype set, but it was super close, and now it's just kind of like, yeah, he's the dude. Yeah. Carrying that mantle. Oh my goodness, how did... Oh he saved him with the God. neutral air. So and then... Smart, and then, then they both died for him. And then knows if you take it away. <laughs> that was crazy. That was a really interesting interaction. I mean, when you think about it, right, you should have been dead anyway, because neutral air is not a joke hit, but it was because it was so late and out for so long that it hit for nothing. That was, yeah, that, that was really interesting. There's out of that. I was gonna ask, where the up be out of shield at? Because right now, yeah. Jose's lingering. There you go, good there fair. Yeah. Ooh. Nice presence of mind to help out right there, uh, getting E2XD off the ledge. <laughs> I was just about to say, Reslip needs to get over there and help his teammate, and Reslip is walking. <laughs> he's like, they, he's strutting across PS2. He's trying really hard to not get reversed on. He's <laughs> just like, don't look at me. I'm just walking over and nothing. It looks like a splinter cell game. <laughs> he's just trying to go around there. Oh my god. This is interesting watching E2XD kind of play his projectile game in his mid-range spacing game with his Zare and whatnot. I don't know, man. Blue Team's looking clean right now. Oh, he hits him in. That was so smart Jose by Jose with the PK fire. Oh. That was brilliant. I can't believe that. Those are two moments, but the thing about Jose V's moment is you know it was intentional. Yeah. That was unbelievable. The, the presence, presence of mind, mind right? Yeah. Like, oh my god, I still think, can't believe I, that. I can't believe he thought of that. That was so smart. I'm gonna make a reference that only Serbian film will get. That was like Reggie Miller against the Knicks. Like that was the presence of mind to step back and take three. I can't believe I'm like in awe right now. I'm still thinking back. It's playing in my mind. So right now, Reds is holding stage control around the uh, around ledge. E2XD. Oh, I can't believe he actually yeah. dropped that that coverage. Blue team actually is a massive lead right now. I haven't looked at the stocks. Or not massive, but uh, it's very solid. Lead. <laughs> you know what's cool about Ganondorf on your team? The wombo combos really only got to be two hits. Yeah. Right. You know. You th throw him at Ganondorf and he fares him, and then, then you're in that, that edge guarding situation. But Ranger's gonna be careful, he's on his last stock now, and he's at high percentage. Yep. Jose V also at high percentage. That's the good thing about uh, teaming with a Ganondorf, especially though, uh, is that they uh, rack up, he racks up percentage so quickly because his hits are so strong, right? And it puts people in really bad situations because of how strong they are. Oh, that was so good by Jose! Covered himself very well. Still living. Uh, this is really bad for Red Team. Red Ranger's getting comboed and Jose B's trying to recover. Jose gets back because Reslo just opted to PK Thunder. A little interesting. Ooh. Jose is doing his best to space in a way such that he won't get reversed on Well, E2XD close to that one. <gasps> No way! <laughs> All right, so this is this is where Ganondorf's ridiculous chain, chain grab can come into play. Well, this could be it right here, this though. Could be. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh! Was Red Ranger trying to cape the upcoming recovery? I. It, it wouldn't be like surprising. That would have been nuts. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's it. Spaghetti. Yep. That roll was definitely like a panic roll. All right, it's only one game. Yep. So we'll we'll have to see how it, how it goes from here, but it's it's very interesting to yeah. Look at that stock counts. Red taking five stocks and E2XD taking six. Very very. very the Ness playing both Ness players playing support in this match. I 
I feel like if you if you compare them to the, both the characters they have on their team, right? Link is definitely a hard hitting character and can close out stocks in like a lot of different ways, right? You can do it out of shield with up B. <laughs> you can do it in the air with down air and with forward air. Yeah. And pretty much everything but back air. Mm -hmm. Um. And he's got projectiles to rack up damage too. So like he yep. can he can do that role. I think Gandalf just hits like a truck. Yeah. He does hit like a truck. It's so ridiculous. you know they're they're. Ah oh, man, there were so many cool moments of like smart play mm -hmm. from Jose V saving his teammate to Jose yeah, V cover himself with the up B. Uh, just red. I honest, I honestly like if I if I spoke to him after, he'd probably tell me like, yeah, when I caved Resler, I was probably trying to catch the up B, and I, that would have been out of control. Like would have been nuts because he would have just started falling. And I wonder what it takes to snap to ledge out of your thunder. I wonder if it was because Reslip didn't touch anything, that he was still stuck in that animation. There's got because I've seen Reslip do it, Narc do it, Hyper do it. Like all these Nesses and Lucases do it so often now that you just it, you feel like it's automatic, you know? Yeah. They know the spacing such that they're not gonna put themselves in the situation to leave like willingly to leave themselves vulnerable, like, as they should. Him. He's living though. Oh, at least he two ideas. Yeah, he covers that eye. that landing very well with the two bombs. He makes it very difficult to go up to match harder. Oh, but that's it. Oh, he missed the fair. That'll take it. It was good DI into uh, you have nothing deal. else to do anyway. Yeah. yeah. So the stocks are coming off blue team much faster this time around. Yes. And I think a lot of us do a battlefield. The movement from Red Ranger right now going mm -hmm. on these platforms. He's covering the, the movement options so well. If they try and go up on the platforms, he's there with the up air, which covers the whole platform the way he's jumping. I wonder why he's tagged up wizard. Sorry, I have moments where I just think about things. Yeah, the red might be. Yeah, because, because of Ganondorf. Ganondorf. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So can I call him a nerd later? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Just want to know if I'm on the right page. Res live in a bad predicament. Mine's back on stage, yeah. No surprising. I'm surprising just the bear. Like the edge guarding has been rough for the last two games, and yeah. from both teams, they like both have had moments. Mm -hmm. But at, at the same time, there's probably two moments that would have been kills that yep. were just amazing saves. So Resolute just healed off the PK uh, PK flash there, which is a big mistake. It heals something crazy, like 40% or something. That's the kind of unfortunate uh, circumstance of playing Ness in doubles. Is a lot of his moves like that. Um, and even using PK Thunder offensively are just not necessarily viable because they take so long and they limit his movement. Oh, what a save! You see that? I wonder how many more we're going to see if this goes to a game three. This is unbelievable. Back here. I mean, you can uh, almost argue like, like you. It, I I don't even know if it really is a, a reaction. You almost have to be prepared to do that because I don't know if yeah. you can react that quickly for a lot of these situations. I think you have he, to have that in yeah. your mind as you're leading up to that moment. He assumed that he was going to do the back throw, which is why he was on the top platform. He was just standing there for a second. It was a good presence of mind, right? Because that's any Ness is going to back throw a kill percent. Well, this has just become just, an absolute. Uh, yeah, this is a slaughter. Yeah. <laughs> right. Red is looking for the moment where he yeah. can just do something really dumb to him. <laughs> oh, we see the Dacus. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Why not, man? They're both just playing with their playing with right now. Crazy house money. Let's go. That was a great angle. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, no He's living. It would have been kind of funny if he absorbed that one also and just extended yeah, this. Right. Just add another minute to this game for Keep, no reason. Keeps him in there. So that was much, much cleaner. That game. I have. Oh no. You know what's going to happen now, right? This group text is not going to die. No. You know that, right? <laughs> this is gonna be rough. There's 20 people in this group chat. Yeah, there's a lot of people in this. When this event's over, it's just gonna live on forever. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change my phone number. <laughs> Alright, so Dreamland. The commentator's guild. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dreamland. 
I, I imagine this is for a sort of loss prevention, right? Both uh, Ness and Link can potentially live a really long time here, yeah. and they were both getting edge guarded very hard last game. So it kind of gives them a little more space um, to play neutral and to get back. Yeah, and when you're doing when you're doing uh, counter picks, I guess in like a ditto of sorts with the you know your teammate both being Ness, you you kind of counter pick for you know your teammate's character more than anything else. Yeah, and I felt like Lindendorf did really really well on Battlefield, and Link oh. should be doing better on here. So we'll see. Yeah. E2XD used the bomb throw to down air a few times to get back, but that last time he accidentally did boomerang, unfortunately. Oh, E2XD couldn't get there in time. Yeah. Match guard opportunity here. Nair puts him in a bad spot. Yeah, I don't know if Nair... That was good coverage by uh, Jose to, to really uh, force uh, the recovery. If you're a right now, you just want to rack up some damage. Yeah. Keep Jose V away from Ganondorf. Try to separate the two because Reds is doing... A, like, oh. he's not dying, but at the same time, he's being such a nuisance continuously recovering. He broke 200% there. Yeah. And that's a huge whole, deal. Yeah, that yeah. whole time, Jose was beating out Reslib in the 1v1 while trying to get to uh, Red. That's some really questionable like Reslib yeah. is having a lot of trouble with Jose. E2XD is just trying to run around and cover whatever he can, but uh, it's difficult with Ganondorf trying to stuff you out. That was a really risky move. Oh, but the air dodge misses yeah. by Jose. Lucky break for Reslip there. Oh, and bad DI on the back there. Been a couple of those. Yeah. Oh, oh were they, they both wide? Were out. they both like trying to hit each other? Like I either think, one of them really. I think went? that's what Reslip was trying to do because of the way he angled his. Oh, that's right. unfortunate. So Reslip and E2XD though.